All right, Mopar people. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just Mopar Joe. We got our 413 sitting here. Hopefully you can see it. And it's got the cam in it. Got the timing set on. And we actually degreed this cam. Um, I'm gonna show you that process in just a second. But basically I even got it set up now to where we checked top dead center. Be sure that the mark on our balancer was correct matching the timing pointer that was on the timing chain cover. Yeah, you can find top dead center on your piston right now and then we'll slide the balancer up there and just see where we're at. Saw it go backwards. Mm -hmm. There you are. Like a couple off. Look at that. That's not too bad if you look this way. I think that's a zero. Mm-hmm. Leading it. Zero five. We may be half a degree off. That's pretty close. For you know that's uh you know you're you should be in good shape there. A lot of them will be farther than that off. I mean that's that's not even worth remarking to me. No. Because it no, no, there's no reason to remark that. Sweet. So I got all that done. I've got that cleaned up and painted outside. Um, I am going to go ahead and pull this cam back out now and lube all of my lobes correctly. Um, soak my chain or lube my chain really well so that this is a true roller chain. I'll show it to you. Um, but basically I'll show you that and the timing set. So this was the Howard's. Uh, 383 to 440 timing set for a big block Chrysler 94340 Howards. Um, that came from Summit Racing. I think it's a little over $100, but it's a really good piece. It's super adjustable. I'll show you this. I know it says small block Chevy, but you can advance and retard uh, up to 8 degrees on it. Super nice piece. The um, chain itself is very tight, nice. Um, but what we ended up with, I uh, kind of tested it several different ways. When it's at zero, the cam, notice here's that cam sheet. Uh, they're saying it's a 108 center line when it's set up dot to dot. So we found out that is actually uh, 107.5. Uh, then we then switched over, advanced at 2 degrees, that put it at 104, 4 degrees, 102, and 8 degrees was about 99, 99 and a half, whatever. Um, so that half degree could have been um, error on my part. Uh, but Brian came over and helped me out uh, degree this. He has the right tools. He had the correct tool that goes on the crank snout that you tighten instead of using vice grips. I know, I know. Um, but I did have that black taped when I used vice grips on it the other day. But I'm, right now I'm going to leave it on top dead center. That's where it's at. My line, my marks are lined up dot to dot. And that put me at uh, 107 and a half. Um, so really close uh, in the spec of what the cam sheet said at 108. Uh, the way we found top dead center was using a dial indicator. And he called and mentioned to me, we could have done it the other way of using a piston stop, which a lot of people believe that to be the correct, most correct way of doing it. The dial indicator um, doesn't take into account dwell. So uh, when that piston stop, it would have, it would have got a positive stop on it, um, spinning all the way around and coming back. But the way we did it, we were very, very close. We used the intake lifter and I just put a little oil around it so it would cycle up and down. Another dial indicator here on the edge of the lifter instead of the center because these are hydraulic lifters. But other than that, um, I'm gonna throw that video in now and let y'all kind of check it out. Uh, the engine's definitely coming together nicely and we're gonna have a runner soon. So y'all hang out. All right, so I'm checking this for top dead center. Yep, we're finding top dead center first and then zero in our degree oil. There you go. Hey, coming back. 
I think that's it. Okay, we roll our degree wheel. Okay. All right. Now I'm going to spin it over until top of the cam load. Yep, we find maximum lift. Okay. Are we zeroed still? Yep. Okay. Keep going past the 50. <laughs> A little too far. A little too far. It's the last time I'm doing this. Right there. Okay. Watch your reading. 55. 155. All right. Let's roll it back the other way. Back to maximum cam lift. There we go. And pass back to 50. Actually go to about 55 or 60. There we go. That'll take all the slack out of your chain. So you're not measuring it up. Right there, man. Right there. Okay. That number? 60 degrees. Okay. 155 and 60 is 215. Divided by 2 is 107.5. Perfect. At a 108 center line, that's as dead on as you're going to get. I wanted a 108. 